Warmer than normal winter has created a late start to the ice fishing season on Lake Mille Lacs. And some dangerous situations as well. But with colder temperatures, the ice is getting thicker. And today, a couple of the oldest family-owned ice fishing businesses open to anglers on Mille Lacs. As our Eric Chalou reports, it will be a mad rush to salvage the season. This season is getting a late start at Brant's Ice Fishing on Mille Lacs. About seven inches. Thursday was the first day they opened anglers on foot, ATVs, and snowmobiles. It's a fantastic day. Um, slowly but surely. Amanda Brandt's family has run the business for 62 years, but the thin ice this winter has led to one of their latest starts to winter fishing. Safety is a huge concern. Um, you're out a couple of weeks ago, we had open water uh, 200 yards out. But the view on Mille Lacs has changed. The Brandt's shot this video earlier in the day from their plane with a lot more ice in sight. I'm a little more cautious sometimes, but I've learned a lot through the years of what works on the lake and what doesn't. Libex ice fishing has been in the same family since 1954. Better, thicker ice is why Eddie Liebeck decided to open their fishing business Thursday as well to anglers and walk on. And how would you describe how the 70th year started? <laughs> you wouldn't want to put it on TV. <laughs> no, it's not, it hasn't been good. A start to the ice fishing season for some of these businesses on Mille Lacs, letting those ATVs and snowmobiles out. But the hope is in a little more than a week, the ice will be thick enough so that some of these businesses can then start renting these fish houses. Some of the resorts and bays have thicker ice than other spots, which has led some anglers out today fishing with vehicles and big fish houses in sight. The lake is a destination spot for winter fishing. Hopefully people can recoup enough to come out of it. It's definitely in our blood. You know, we've known a lot of our customers all of our lives. We grew up with them. At Brant's, they're looking forward to seeing familiar faces before the winter walleye season ends in late February. At Lax Lake, Eric Shalhoub, 5 Eyewitness News.